there are several basic skills that you need to have in using a computer whether it's for your job and your job involves using a computer to do various tasks or if it's just for personal use at home you're gonna need to know how to do a few basic things my name is Daniel from Twin Bytes and in this tutorial we're gonna be talking about Windows File Explorer and basic file management so we're going to get into it here looking at a folder that has a series of folders and files that I've already created here. In order to get to any folder, there's so many ways you can get to it. Whether you have a shortcut on your desktop for your documents or uh, pictures, music, videos, any of those things, or even the yellow folder at the very bottom on your taskbar, which is there by default it takes you into a folder for some specific files and it may not be the ones you want but from there you can navigate using the left side here to go to any of these folders that you've got pinned to the side now we can also change what's pinned there as well very easily for example this subfolder if I want that over there because I use it all the time I can right click on it and choose pin to quick access and now it shows over here. I can click on it and it jumps me to that folder. If I want to go to the main folder, it shows up here where we were. This is called the breadcrumbs. So using the breadcrumbs, just like the name implies, you can trace your steps back to where you were. So I can click on this name and it takes me to that folder where we were before. Now, if I don't want this subfolder in the quick access anymore, I can right click on it and then there's unpin from quick access. So I can just click on that and it's gone just as easily. Another way is working with the folders, sorting them around. I can say maybe this subfolder three, I wanna put that as a subfolder to this number two folder. So I'm gonna click and drag it and before I let go it says it's going to move it to subfolder 2 so maybe I don't want to I can take it away from there but if I leave it on there and let go it just dropped it in here so I can double click on subfolder 2 and I see this subfolder 3 in here I can now right click on that and cut it if I want to get it out of there using the breadcrumb trail again to go back and now clicking anywhere to make sure nothing's highlighted there's the paste button up here I can hit that and it pastes it I could have also just right clicked somewhere and choose the paste option but with this highlighted you also have the options here to cut which I did by right click before or there's a copy that you can take and even renaming it which comes in handy because subfolder 1, 2 and 3 doesn't make any sense at all so we might want to say this is for a YouTube tutor examples. If I can spell it right, then there you go. So, and, and then this, we can take that and now drag it in there and maybe that makes sense to us and that's gonna be fine. So you can do a lot of organizing your folders by cutting and pasting or copying if you want to take a copy of something and paste it for example this file example I can cut that or maybe I'm gonna take these here because we've got a couple of those I'm gonna copy those go into here and then hit paste so now I've got a copy of them in here which we can see is subfolder 2 using the breadcrumb trails go back and I still have the originals over here so I can work with the copies while saving the originals. Now also we want to look at how to find things because if you're not sure where something is uh, let's have a look over here we've got a file example text file and over here we have another one and they have the same name they're both text files even though one's got a uppercase E and the other doesn't uh, you're allowed to do that having the same name in the same file type as long as they're in different folders if I don't know where that is I could click up in here and search and it's gonna search within the folder we're in looking at all the subfolders I'm gonna type an example 
and it'll find everything that has the word example in it. So I got the file example that's in the folder that we're currently in where we were searching. And then the other one that we can now see is in this other folder and it tells us as we hover over it the file location. We even have this other folder that it found that has the word example in it. Even though it's got an S at the end making it plural, it still has the word example in it. So it finds files and folders that contain those words that we typed in. Or at least it has that word as part of it and anywhere in the name. So now that we found the files and folders, once you find something you want, you can then highlight it, cut, copy, rename, whatever you want to do with it. Or if you're not sure where it is or want to just go to the folder to see everything, even though this tells us where it is, I'm going to right click on it and choose open file location. And this will jump us right to that folder where it is so we can see what else is in this folder where this is stored and you might want to see that for various reasons and that's how you can do it. One thing I had to quickly clarify is that I kept using the breadcrumbs here saying it takes you back to where you were. It doesn't take you back to where you were. Breadcrumb trails, it takes you to where you click. So I can see that this is the folder we're in. This is up one level. This is up two levels. So I could click on either one of these and go directly to one of those upper level folders or using this up arrow and it takes me up one level to the one folder before. But if we want to go back to where we were, for example, it may not be a higher level. I can use this back button here and it tells me as I hover over it that it's going back to a folder called YouTube Tutorial Examples. So I can click on that it takes me to that folder and I can see the breadcrumb trail and if I hit the three dots here it shows me the full trail and that goes back to subfolder 2 under this main folder that we were in. So it takes me straight there which is actually ahead not backwards. So there's no way I would see this in the breadcrumb trail because it was in a subfolder not a higher level folder. So if I want to go forward again, it takes me to where I just was. So I can flip back and forth to where I was before and back to where I was before going to the, the previous folder. But the breadcrumb trails take me to higher level folders using this trail here. So that's the real difference between the breadcrumb and using this back and forward button. Something else that you may want to do is also taking a backup, which is really important. So if we look at this folder and say we want to have all this backed up, rather than select everything here, we can go back one more level using our breadcrumb trail. We can see the folder is here. That's what we want. And it's really just taking a copy of it. So I can choose the copy option up here, for example, now. And then we want a USB drive plugged into the computer. And I'm going to pretend that this is our USB drive. It's called backup. I can click on it. And now I can see there's the paste option available up here. I could right click as well and go to paste. So whichever way you do it, it doesn't matter choosing paste the folder goes in there and depending how big it is it might take you a few minutes but uh, this went quick I can click on it to open it and I can see all the files are there and folders and then we can disconnect the USB drive so if anything happened whether it's a hacker a virus or you accidentally delete something then you have a copy of all your files so you can restore those if necessary and that's really the big difference with a backup. I do have other videos on this as well that tell you the difference between online storage and online backups. Using Google Drive, OneDrive, Apple's iDrive, those things are not backups. People use them like a backup and think if the computer crashes, you're fine. That's true. You can get a new computer and restore your files. But if you accidentally deleted something, renamed it, lost it, it got corrupted, um, any 
damage to the file in a way that you're not able to use it anymore, it synchronizes those changes or damage or deletion up to the cloud and causes the same thing to happen up there and now you've lost it. And the only way to get it back is from a backup. So a true backup is really having a copy, whichever way you wanna copy it, whether it's the way I just showed you or using some software, paste it in another location on a different drive and ideally a USB drive that you can unplug from the computer when you're not backing up and plug it back in again for the next time you're ready to do another backup. So those are the main things with using file and folder management and how to do some basic searches using Windows File Explorer. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.